just the last few screws there. And that should just about do it. What do we think? Uh, I've had to make shift up some brackets to fit it to the back bumper, so... I'll be honest, they're not entirely at the same height or spacing, but I think, I think it's alright. They look pretty good. Just some little L-shaped brackets on the back to fit them to the... to the bumper. Right. Snow's coming down pretty hard at the minute. I'm really, really lucky to have this workshop with the lights and everything. Really, really useful. Anyway, we have got some jobs to do today. Uh, we have to go and pick up the other tractor. And swap it for this one. They're going to start doing an inspection on this tractor too. And checking it all out. It's, uh, yeah. It's seemingly going to be expensive, however... It'd be good, good peace of mind going to the, the spring with two good working tractors. Speaking of things that are working, let's just squeeze through here and jump in. And we are going to stick the lights on. No, that's the hazards and the... Hazards and the main lights. Let's have a look. Well, moment of truth. There we go. Look at that. Ah, my wiring is not too shabby after all. Fantastic stuff. We can now sell milk again. Which is brilliant news. Well, I'm pleased with that. I don't know what you guys think, but... I'm pretty pleased with that. Right then, um, switch the lights off in here. Uh, we will turn off the lights on the tractor for now. There we go. Lovely. Ah, yeah, this snow, absolutely relentless. I hope we get a bit of a warm march. When we get back today, I'll be hooking up the... Um, I'll be hooking up the, the cedar. Or the weeder cedar. To the back of the New Holland. Actually, we ought to... Uh, I can't remember if I paid for the, the work to be done on that or not yet. Um, let me just check my bank account. Right, that's that check. No, I haven't paid for it yet, so, um... Yes, yeah, so that's like £600 to come out for that tractor. And £100 for the inspection of this one. We won't find out how much this one's going to cost us to fix until they've done the inspection. Anyway, um, milk tanker has been fully tested. Happy with that. Let's drop that off there. Um, I am going to jump up into here because we need to scoop the manure out of the cow enclosure and for that we will obviously not want our bales bikes but we will want our manure fork but the bale spikes can be left in here There we are, and now we'll go and pick up the manure fork from the uh, manure pit. Be good to get that filled up again, ready for for next year. I'm hoping we'll have a lot more next year than we we did, had for this year, anyway. Okay, let's get this attached. There we are. Brilliant. Let's have a quick look at, see if we can see in here if we've got any slurry. Oh, looks like a little bit in there. Looks like the tank's starting to fill again, so that's good. Uh, we could do with 
selling some more milk today as well. End of the month, we have the lights on our tanker. So I think that should be really good. As for the poop in here, let's get the gate open and get it cleared up now. Yes. Hello, Bella and Daisy. Okay. Okay, that is all the muck cleared out, which is fantastic news. So yeah, we do need to go and pick up our other tractor. I was wondering whether to take the milk down with this, but I think we'll take it with the pickup later. It'll be a lot easier to do that. Um, right, I want to take the manure fork off of there. Go. And as this is all warmed up already, we might as well just take it down. I'll switch all these spotlights off. And we will take it down to the dealership. Uh, yeah, like I said, the milk tanker will take on the pickup later on. But uh, I think we'll head down to the dealership now. So, now that I've got you all to myself, I thought I'd let you in on a little secret. I'm thinking about getting a surprise for Abby. She's been, she's always been really, really good to me throughout the whole Gavin situation and everything else that I've put her through, which is quite a lot, let's face it. And... I knew that I know that she has always wanted to have a dog. So Sorry, just concentrating on the road here. Okay. Off we go. And yeah, so she's always wanted to have a dog. I think it would be really really good. Now it seems an absolutely perfect time for us to get a dog and I wanted to surprise her with it so let me know what you guys think in the comments because uh, I'd like to sort of maybe start getting wheels in motion having a look at maybe I don't know I don't know whether to go for a rescue or go for a puppy I really don't. She would absolutely love a dog. But yeah. I really don't know. I don't know. Let me get let me know what you think, guys.
Okay, so here we are. At the dealership. Oh, there she is. New Holland's been parked up outside. Look at that. I think they might have even cleaned her. Brilliant. So they said just pop the Ursha into the workshop here. And then we'll get started with the inspection right away. They can move it out of the way once they've done that. Oh, look at that on, up on the ramps. That's a nice new one, isn't it? Switch that off there. Ooh. That is a lovely little T5-120. Just short of 120 horsepower. If I know my New Hollands. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. They must be doing their uh, pre-sale pre inspection on that or something. They, I guess they do it with all new tractors. But that is absolutely brand new, isn't it? Just rolled off the production line. They won't mind if I have a little, have a little look. There. And... Oh, yes. Oh, this is nice. This is just like the one... Just like the one we saw at uh, at Llama. Oh yes. Oh, very nice. All right, I better get out of it before they see me and get upset. Right, I shall go speak to them behind the counter. We have to pay for this tractor. I need to give them the keys for that one, and uh, we'll be on our way after that. Okay, there we are. Uh, 700 pounds later, but I've got the keys. And it's been fully repaired and serviced, and it looks beautiful. I'm sure they've given it a clean. They've greased everything up. They have, yeah, full service engine, oil, filters, absolutely everything. So, uh, well. Let's get out of this snow, shall we? There we are. Switch the lights on. Oh, she's running like a dream. How about that? Beautiful. Right, so they're going to give me a call and get back to me with the Ursha price. I am dreading that one. £700 straight out the account for this one, but I am absolutely dreading that one. Right, uh, how are we looking? Let's head off. Okay. Oh, she's running like a dream. Okay, we'll get back. I think I'll have a spot of lunch. And then we shall load up the milk and take that for sale. check around to see the best price for it first see where we're going to go And back at the farm. Home sweet home. Right, I am going to keep this under cover. I'm going to put it in here and then we can reverse up to the weeder cedar. Ready to get it all connected up. In fact, if I connect it up now, it will keep the grease in all the joints, won't it? So let's do that. But first of all, we'll suck through the lights, turn them off, switch the engine off. Fantastic. Right, connect that up, connect up the hoses, and we're all good to go. We'll leave that on the ground. I don't think we need the front weight on for that. It's quite a light bit of equipment. Hmm. We shall see. Okay, so, like I said, I'm going to disappear in and get a rabbi cup of tea and have some lunch. And... We will head off to sell some milk. 
Hopefully the snow won't settle too much. <laughs> well, I waited a couple of hours, and fantastically, the snow has stopped. Which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I've also had a phone call from the dealership. It, it's not good news, if I'm honest. They want uh, £1,250 for a repair of the Ursha. It's quite... Yes, it's 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 got quite a lot of wear on it, and they've got they want to replace a good few of the parts. But I've told them to hold off on it at the minute because I I don't know what we're going to do about that. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth maybe getting a second-hand telehandler or something to replace it. I mean, Abby's dad will want it back at some point as well because it means a lot to him. Ah. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I don't know what we can do. Anyway, um, I suppose in order to help us make some money, we'll have to, uh, have to start selling some milk and things. Do that. I want to hitch up to the trailer. <laughs> Which I've very badly reversed up to at the moment. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better. Okay, lights on, it's still a bit of a dismal day even if it has stopped snowing, and there we go, trailer's following us nicely, we just need to go around here and then use the pump on the trailer itself to pump it out of the milk tanker. We just stick a, a hose in through the top there. Right, I shall get this done, and then we will be off. Right, there we go then. So, it's not a full tanker, just over 2,000 litres, which is pretty pretty good, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I've been milking the cows daily, and we've been obviously storing it in our refrigerated tank. But yeah, I think... 2,000 litres is, is absolutely is very, very good. Alright, get the gate shut so they don't wander off. At least they've got access to the grass now, that's good. But yeah, I am pleased with those lights. Uh, right, let's have a quick look to see where we are going to be going. Okay, so I've checked it out. The best place is actually a place called Town Stores. I don't believe we've actually been there before, but... Uh, it's a first time for everything. Uh, it'd be nice to get some cash in again. I know we had that big cash injection from the milk tanker that came to pick it up, but this time we don't have to pay for any delivery fees, collection fees, whatever the fees they are. And, um, yeah, we'll head down to town stores. It's actually basically just left out the end here and then keep going. So here we are, 
Uh, it is just down here, I guess. Well, this is a nice little, quaint little store's place, isn't it? Open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hmm. Nice. Right, I shall see if I can find someone. And we'll get the tanker unloaded. I assume it's going to go into storage over here somewhere. But I'm not certain. Right, I'll ask about. Yep, so I was right. It's a pull up over here, and then we'll put a pipe on and pump it out the tank at the bottom. So, fantastic news. I will catch up with you when I know how much we've got. Money wise, that is. I know how much milk we've got. Well, that was absolutely fantastic. They gave me a ticket uh, for £1,627, which is unbelievable. That's more than going to cover the repairs to the Ursha, actually. Uh, which way did I come in here? I think it was this way. Yes. Yeah, I think I can still see my tyre tracks in the gravel. Right. There must be two ways into this place then. Right, time to head back home. There we go. Pull out and drive away. Yeah, the other place must be down that track there. The other way in must be down that track there then. Okay. Well, that is absolutely fantastic news. Like I said, it'll more, it'll more than pay for the uh, the repairs to the Ursha. I did say to Abby's dad we'd be paying... Uh, we'd be repairing it before we returned it. I didn't quite anticipate it would be that much money to repair it, though. So... Hmm. Never mind. The milk for this month has covered it. Well, I might as well leave the milk tanker hooked up because there's nothing that I think we need to pick up for today. We'll just leave it here, to be honest. Lights are all off and everything. Brilliant. Okay. Yep, I'll leave all that hooked up. Well, I am pleased with those lights. They seem to be working really well. I suppose I better ring the garage and tell them to go ahead with the... Uh, Go ahead with the repairs. I know. A lot of money just to uh, move bales around and clean some poop out, isn't it? But. Hmm. Well, like I said, at some point, uh, Abby's dad is going to ask for it back. And I just don't know when that point is. Don't know when that is going to be. Oh well. Uh, right, well that's pretty much us done for the day. So thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you think of my idea to get Abby a dog. It's uh, it's exciting. I think she'd love it. Also, let yeah, let me know if you think I should keep it a surprise or whether we should choose it together. Hmm, that's a tough one. That could go one of two ways. Anyway, I will see you soon. Bye for now.